Okay, what's up, Algebra 2? So we're doing these uh, factoring uh, quadratic equations, right? Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to set this up so we have everything equal to zero. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to subtract 3 from both sides. And what that does is that gives me 0 over here, which is what I want. I'm going to re rewrite this as 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. Okay, so that's how we want to start each of these. You want, to, you want everything set to 0, and you want everything in descending powers of x. So, uh, and then any term that doesn't have a variable should be at the end. All right. Now, now we're gonna we're gonna factor we're gonna factor this out. We we spent a lot of time earlier in the year working on working on factoring, right? So in fact that this factors down to uh, two binomials, and what you end up with is two x uh, minus one times the quantity of x plus three. Okay, and you can check that on your own time. Um, but just remember the rules for, fa for factoring, right? Factoring trinomials, look at the sign of the last term. If it's negative, that means the signs of your binomials are going to be opposite. Okay, now, once you factor, we're just going to set each factor. So 2x minus 1 equals 0, and x plus 3 equals 0. Okay, and now, so these problems... Um, most of them, if not all of them, are going to end up with two two values uh, two values of x. Okay, so we're going to add one here, add one here. We get two x equals one. Okay, and we're going to divide both sides by two. So x one of our values is going to be x equals one half, and the other is going to be x equals negative 3. Okay, now I'll let you on your own time, and I'm sure you're going to do this because you literally have nothing else you would rather be doing than checking to see if these are correct. So on your own spare time, you know, like 10 minutes before you go to bed tonight, um, what I want you to do is I want you to check and make sure that this is correct, okay? All right, let's see who actually does that. I'm going to see who's actually paying attention to this video. All right, here we go. Purple peanut butter cups. Purple peanut butter cups. All right, so I'm going to ask in, the, in a future lesson, which nonsensical word did I just randomly say in the middle of our lesson? And let's see who, who gets that, okay? All right. All right, now let's look at the next one. Um, this one, we, we've got some work to do. We, we, we want to end up with something that looks like this, okay? So we're gonna start off by, okay, what we can do here is we can go ahead and foil this out, okay? So so x times x gives us x squared, x times two gives us positive two x, um, negative three times x gives us negative three x, and then negative three times 2 gives us negative 6. Okay, and of course, this is all going to be multiplied by 2 eventually, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and combine like terms there. So you get x squared minus x minus 6. And we're going to, again, we haven't dealt with this 2 yet, all right? All we did was just foil this out, but we still need to worry about this 2, all right? So that's going to give us 2, 2x two squared minus 2x minus 12. Okay. 2x squared minus 2x minus 12. All right, and then we need to distribute this. Remember, there's an, always an understood coefficient of 1, but this one's being made negative by that negative sign right there. So negative 1 times 3x gives us negative 3x. Negative 1 times 2 gives us negative 2. Okay. All right, so now... We're looking like we can get closer to, this is what we need right here. We need something in this form. So, you know, something that's squared plus something x plus or minus something equals zero. All right, so let's go ahead and just move 
all these terms over here. So we're going to add 3x here, and we're going to add 2 here, right? So that causes these to cancel out, which is what we want. All right, so negative 12 plus 2 gives us negative 10. Negative 2 minus 3 gives us negative 5x. And we're going to bring down this 2x squared. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I knew I was, something didn't look right there. Thank you, you probably caught that. I was supposed to add that 3x, not subtract it. So that's, let's rewrite that. That should be 2x squared uh, plus x, uh, and then minus 10 equals zero. All right, so this was wrong, All right? How many of you caught that? See, I added the 3x here, but when I came over here, I subtracted it, see? All right. Okay, so now now we want to factor factor out this trinomial. All right. And so this factors out to 2x minus 5 times the quantity of x minus 2. And something about that doesn't seem right either because that's not right. Let's try factoring this out here. Uh, these should be, I'm kind of following the initial example here, but uh, let's see, 2x squared, yeah, 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 yeah. 2x squared plus x minus 10. And they're saying that it factors out to, they're saying that this factors out to this right here. Um, I don't think so. Uh, because that's going to end up with a positive 10, negative 5 times negative 5. So let's, let's uh, not depend too much on our initial there. Let's actually, let's, let's factor this out. I wonder if it's supposed to be plus 2. Uh, 2x times x gives us 2x squared. 2x times 2 gives us uh, positive 4x, negative 5. Okay, well, that's, that's not going to work. So let's try, let's try 2x plus 5 and x plus 2. Let's see what that gives us. Or, uh, sorry, x minus 2. Okay, so 2x, it gives us 2x squared minus 2x, I'm sorry, minus 4x plus 5x minus 10. Okay, that looks like, let me, let me do that one again. It should be, it should be 2x plus 5 times x minus 2. Okay, they have... 2x minus 5 times x minus 2. It should be 2x plus 5 times x minus 2. So that would, again, that's, let me double check it again. That's going to be 2x squared minus 4x plus 5x plus 10. I'm sorry, minus 10. Minus 10. And, that, and that's actually what we, that's what we want. We want it to end up with this right here. So this gives me 2x plus, okay, negative 4 plus 5 plus x minus 10. That's what we, that's the correct factoring. So the correct factoring, then, is this right here. All right, so we're going to set these equal to 0. So 2x plus 5 equals 0, and we're going to solve for x. So minus 5 minus 5 gives us negative 5, 2x, divided by 2, divided by 2, x equals negative 5 over 2. Okay, that should, that's one of, our, one of our values there. And then let's take x minus 2 equals 0. That's our second factor in there. And we're going to have x equals 2. We're going to bring 
2 over there like that. So we should have x equals 2. Okay. And there is our answers. Hopefully I didn't confuse you too bad. Got messed up a little bit because I was kind of relying on their trying to save time and not have to waste time actually doing the work of factoring. But notice again, see if you catch the mistake here as well. Do you see how when you factor out this trinomial, how this factoring actually doesn't work? Because when you, you get 2 times x gives you 2x squared. 2x times negative 2 would give you negative 4x. And then negative 5x times x would give you negative 5x, which will give you a negative 9x in the middle and a positive 10. So that's what threw me off there a little bit, okay? So anyway, hope this helps. Uh, I'm going to skip a couple of these um, in your lesson for you. Um, do your best, and uh, let me know if you have any questions, okay?